Hey what's up Musers, this is John at muse for You, and in this video tutorial we're going to be creating a blurry to non blurry scroll effect in Adobe Muse. So I have a sample site here and we can see we have a blurry image in the background and if we scroll up it goes from blurry to non blurry. Okay so blurry to non blurry, there it is again. Very good, so we're going to be creating this website in conjunction with Photoshop. So we're going to use Photoshop to blur the image, and then we're going to create the website in Adobe Muse. So let's begin. Okay, so I'm just going to open up Adobe Muse here and we're going to recreate this website. So I'm going to go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK. Then I'll double click on Home here. And the first thing I want to do is create a rectangle. So I'll just go to the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle. And I'll make this 750 pixels in height so that when the user first goes to the website, all they see is the image if, if they have kind of a regular screen on a laptop. All right, very good. And then I'll set it to 100% width here by clicking the 100% width tool. And I'll just place it all the way at the top there. Very good. So now the next thing I want to do is fill this rectangle with the blurry image. Now to create the blurry image, I'm going to go to my folder. And here I have the regular image of the fox. And I want to make this fox blurry. So to do that, I right click, open with, and click on Adobe Photoshop to open it with Photoshop. Okay, we'll let it open here and to make this picture blurry we just go to filter we go to blur and we set we select Gaussian blur there's a few other blurs here that you can select as well uh, I've decided to use the Gaussian blur effect here so I'll click it and I find that 50 pixels uh, of blur is really good um, you can go as high as 1000 and then you can't really make out what the image is uh, I find that 50 is good you could even go to uh, to 100, but I find 50 lets you still kind of see what the image is about, and it's a nice blur. So I'll click OK, then I'll go to File, Save for Web, and I'll save it as a JPEG at 100% quality. I like saving my images at 100% quality, and then I use uh, a website like Compressed JPEG or Compressed PNG to give the 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 uh, image a smaller file size. So I'll click on Save, and then I'll save this as Fox Blur, and I'll save it uh, Fox Blur 2 because I've already done this on another image. So I saved it there as Fox Blur 2. Now I'll go back to Adobe Muse. I'll select the rectangle that I've created. I'll go to Fill. I'll click. Excuse me. I'll click on Add Image, and I'll select Fox Blur 2. Then I'll click on Scale to Fill and set and position it in the center. Okay. The next thing I want to do is create a bar so that when the bar goes across the page, it changes from blurry to non-blurry. So again, I'll select the rectangle tool. I'll just create one down here. And I'll set the height of this to 250 pixels and 100% width. All right, very good. And I wanna fill this with the muse for You uh, logo. So I'll go to Fill. I'll click on Add Image. And I'll just find that uh, logo. There it is, and I'll scale to fit, or scale, yeah, scale to fit, and position it in the center. Very good. And then I'll fill this white with uh, the blue of this logo. So I'll select the rectangle. I'll click on fill, where it says color here. I'll click on the drop down, and then I'll select the sample color tool, and I'll just sample the blue inside of this logo here. Very good. Now all of it's blue. Looks great. And so now what I want to do is. Uh, actually, I want to set the scroll motion of this image to zero so it doesn't move. So I'll go to fill, I'll go to scroll, I'll click on motion, and I'll set everything to zero. Very good. So everything is zero. Don't worry about the key position. It doesn't doesn't really matter uh, because everything is set to zero. So very good. Oops. Yep, set to zero. And then what I'll do is I'll just copy this rectangle with the image and place it below. 
because I've copied it, it has the attributes of the, the it has the same scroll motion attributes, so we don't need to set the scroll motion again to this image. And now we'll go to fill, where it says image, I'll click click on uh, Fox Blur 2, and I'll just go back to that image, and I'll select the regular image of the fox without a blur. All right, very good. So now if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser, and I scroll up, you can see it goes from blurry to non-blurry. It's a very cool effect and can really add a lot of interest uh, to a website. Now, if you notice, we have some white here. Uh, to remove that, we can either add a footer or you can just go to the footer section here and click on this little uh, bottom marker here and just drag it up. And you won't be able to drag up this marker here because you have to actually go to the master page. So I'm gonna go back to this website and right here in the plan view, I'll click on master, the A master, and I'll just drag up all these mar markers all the way to the top there. So now if I go back to that page, to the home page, and we seem to still have it there. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Now we can move all those markers up, but you'd have, you have to first move them up in the master page. Okay, so now if I hit Command Shift E, and I scroll, scroll up, it goes from blurry to non-blurry. Oh, and one other thing I did was add text here on top on, on this image. So I'll go to the text tool. I'll just click and drag to create some text. And I'll call this into the woods. I thought it was fitting for this fox image here. And then I'll just set it to 72 pixels in height. I'll change the font to rock salt. Okay, and I'll change the color to white. And I'll click on the select tool here and just kind of make this a bit wider here so it fits on one line. And then I'll center it there. It all fits on one line and looks good. I'll make this a little bit smaller and kind of center this in the middle. And right there looks good. Then I'll pin it to the top and middle so that it stays on the page. Um, so it's it's pinned there on the page. So if I, if I hit Command Shift E and I scroll up, goes from blurry to non-blurry. So the other thing uh, I want is that these image, th this text go behind this bar. So I'll select the text and I'll go to my layers panel right over here to the right. I'll click the drop down to see all my layers and I'll place this bar here on top of there of into the woods of on top of the text so that this bar will go over the text. So now if I hit command shift E, we can see that that bar goes over it and that text stays pinned on the website. Pin just means that, that it stays fixed on the website and doesn't doesn't scroll. So, And you can pin to the right, to the left, or in the center. Very good. So as we can see, it goes from blurry to non-blurry. All right, very good. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please subscribe below. Uh, you'll get access to the muse for you private community and you'll also get news and updates on new video tutorials that come out from the muse for you uh, channel also in the description area below is my website website starter kit there's a link to hosting there's a link to to widgets you can purchase at muse themes and there's a few other links in the description area below you can also download adobe muse directly by clicking on one of the links uh, below and, and purchasing the creative cloud from adobe so thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.